So we are reading today from Shishi Prema Bhakti Chandrika. And uh, it is a very amazing verse that shows how deep is the um, parakya bhav hidden in all the words of our great Acharyas. And especially also in Srila Naratam Thakur's Mahashai verses. We are reading verse 98. And it says, Paravanagara Krishna Tate Hawati Krishna Bajotare Brajabhavalo Rase kapakata sange, grahi bo piriti range, braja pure vosoti kuriya. Be very thirsty for the greatest amorous hero Krishna and worship him in the Brajamut. Be very thirsty for the greatest amorous hero Krishna and worship him in the Brajamut. I will always lovingly stay with the Rasika devotees and always live in Braja, which is the best place to remember the loving discussions that Radha and Mohan have with each other. Be very thirsty for the greatest amorous hero, Krishna, and worship him in the Braja mood. So Baba here is explaining that Maha Shai Thakur, Shilanaratam Thakur says, we must cherish deep thirst for Krishna. He is the supreme amorous her hero. He is the clever gallant, the clever lover of the Braja Sundaris. And therefore, he is called Nagara. And when he is, is the lord of the life of Sri Hadarani, the crown jewel of the Braja Sundaris, then he is the Parama Nagara. Therefore, Shilatakua Mahashai says, Parama Nagara Krishna, Tahe Hau Ati Trishna, to instruct the practitioners of Gaudiya Vaishnavism who worship Radha Krishna in the ways of Raga Bhajan. So it's very interesting that uh, that here it is said that we must cherish deep thirst for Krishna. And uh, Srila Ananta Das Babaji is asking at one point of this purport, why does he say that we have to cherish thirst for Sri Krishna? He's explaining that all the Gaudiya Vaishnavas are worshipping Sri Radharani first because they cherish her love and love to her more than love to Krishna. And he explains the Bhava Ulasa Prati, the Manjari Bhava. But because he is the Lord of the life of Sri Radharani, he is called here. Paramanagara. He is the supreme beloved 
And if he is together with our dear Shimati Radharani, with our Swamini, only then he is the Paramanagara. As we have heard lately, Gurdiv has explained the different angles that we can have on the being and on the bath of Sri Krishna. For example, lately it has been revealed that when he is in the rasa dance, dancing with all the gopis, then he is Devaki Nandana. Only when he is together with Sri Radharani, then he is Nanda Nandana. So, the worship of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas in the mood of Radha's maidservant or Mandaris is called Bhava Ulasa Rati. Now it is explained, what is this Bhava Ulasa Rati? When the Sakis love Radha as much or less than Krishna, this is counted as a sanctuary bath in the stai bath called Krishna Rati. So this is the sentence full of Sanskrit words. But actually it means that the Sakis love Radha and they love Krishna. But when they love Krishna more than Srimati Radharani, then the love for Srimati Radhika is like a side effect of that. They know that she is his dear most beloved, so they love her also. But they have Krishna as their number one. This is the love of the Sakis, of the Gopis, that are the friends of Srimati Radhika, and they have almost the same age than her. You want the number of the verse? It is 98, Jainanda. 98, sorry. So, when they love Srimati Radhika, their first priority is Krishna's love, and that's called Krishna Rati, the Rati for Krishna. But in the case of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas worship, which are all mostly in the category of uh, small kinkaris, of the dasis of Srimati Radhika, this mood is called Bhava Ula Sarati. They have their feelings in the first place for Srimati Radhika, they are Radha dasis, and they only love Krishna because he is the beloved of Srimati Radhika. So their love for Krishna is the side effect because Krishna is the beloved of Mohan. He is Radha's Mohan. So that is another feeling. That is another bath. But the worship of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because he came also to relish that servitude. He came to relish Radhika's, to be Radhika's servant and to feel the love, not only that she has, but also the love that the Mandaris have. So Krishna, when he comes as Goranga, he is in a very, very special set of feelings. He's feeling her love, and he's also feeling the Mandri's love. So that's the speciality of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he's giving also as a side effect, not only relishing it, but also giving these feelings to the people of the Kali Yuga who are thirsty to relish the service to divine love. And the feelings of the of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas is my mistress is the queen of Vrindavan, Sri Radha, 
And I worship Giridari because he is the Lord of her life. And in the case of the Sakis or the elderly friends of Srimati Radhika, they have Krishna Rati as their first bhav. They love Krishna more than Srimati Radhika. But they also love Srimati Radhika because she is the beloved of Mohan. And we love Mohan because he is the beloved of our Swamini. So these are some fine tunings in the bhavas that Gurudev is gifting us with so that our bhaja and our sadhan can become drenched or permeated by these bhavas which are very important to be fixed or stai bhavas so that we can evolve into the feelings and into the service of a manjari of a Dasi of Srimati Radhika. If these bhavas are mixed, they become not so favorable for our development. We cannot mix Saki bhav and Manjari bhav. That is not a pure feeling. That's why Gurudev is always um, highlighting the feelings of the Manjaris and he always lets us read and study the 16th verse of uh, Vilapa Kushmanjali, which is clarifying that and also giving us a hint to the direction how we can meditate the Kama Gayatri. Because there is a difference in the feelings how we meditate. And these fine tunings we get by the mercy of Shigurdiv and all the Rasika Vaishnavas who are helping us to really feel the feelings of a small kinkari of Srimati Radhika. So now Baba is asking the question, which is very relevant here for this verse. If that is the case, and if we are saying, I am yours, I am yours to Srimati Radhika, like Raghunathas Goswami, then why did Srila Thakur Mahashai not say that we should uh, deep, be deeply thirsty for Sri Radhika instead of calling we should be thirsty for Krishna? Such a question may arise because if we remember the verse says, be very thirsty for the greatest amorous hero Krishna. And worship him in the Braja mood. So why is writing Krishna here and not Sri Radhi? That's very interesting. So Baba is explaining. He's not only saying Sri Krishna, but he says Parama Nagara Krishna. And now he explains something very sweet, which Gurudev has also explained a lot of times. And that is the real deep manjari bhav that is going so, so far and so deep in the service of Srimati Radhika. That is the, the sweetest thing that any soul in this Kali Yuga could be gifted with. In some particular pastimes, the practitioners of manjari bhav who love Radha more than Krishna, must think of their service of Radha and Krishna in such a way that they are deeply thirsty after Krishna. In the framework of their service to Shimate Radhana. So what would be the framework? What would be the circumstances where the mandris will be very thirsty for Krishna? That is now explained. And we are entering now into the, the realm of Siddha Deha, our spiritual 
identity, our spiritual bodies. And if you are, if you are willing, you can try to enter into this mood. Baba is giving us like a guided meditation here. In his mentally conceived Siddhadeha, the practitioner thinks of a pastime in which he or she more helps Shrimati to meet Krishna like on Abhisar when they are going to meet and going through the forest of Randam. With the help of the maidservant, Srimati Radhika decorates the kunj and stares down the road to see if the hero is coming or not. The time of the meeting has expired. It's a little late and Srimati becomes impatient and starts weeping. Oh, where is Mohan? Did something happen to him? The maidservant consoles Shimati. Oh, don't worry, Ma Swamini. It was it was maybe a little dark and maybe he, he didn't get the right road to the kunj. And then I will go now. And now she goes out to search for Mohan. Don't worry, Swamini. I will go and find him. I'm sure he has lost the way and I will bring him to your lotus feet. And her heart now is filled with deep thirst for Krishna. So why? Because it is Swamini's thirst. The maidservant is so deeply absorbed and so, so deeply connected with Swamini. She's her shadow. She's like her second half. She's like the reflection of her heart's desires. And when Swamini has such a deep desire to meet Mohan, then also the maidservant is running and rushing out with these deep desires to meet Mohan, to bring him to Swamini. And now this is the situation where the maidservant is so full of deep thirst to meet Mohan and to find him. Her heart is filled with a deep thirst to find him. Searching for our hero, she cannot find him anywhere. And finally, she becomes despondent, helplessly crying out. Oh, Lord of Radha! Oh, supreme amorous hero, where are you? Reveal yourself to me. Your heart's beloved is very upset out of separation from you and is scorching severely due to this. Her heart is burning. Now it seems that the kinkari is very thirsty for Krishna. Perhaps even a worshipper of Krishna could not show such thirst for Krishna. Why not? Because this is the reflection of the Mahabhav of Srimati Radhika and only she has it. And only the kinkaris can feel that and can express this kind of intensity. All other worshippers of Krishna, they don't have this highest, selfless, intensive attachment. And due to the maidservant's great thirst, the greatest amorous hero, Sri Krishna, showed himself to her. So now Krishna cannot hide himself any longer. Baba says later on, Sri Krishna is a Bhava principle and he cannot be captured without Bhava. So when the Bhava of the Kinkari is so high and is reflecting so much 
the mood of separation and longing of Srimati, of Swamini, Krishna cannot hide. He is easily found and he has to show himself. So now the maidservants took the king of amorous heroes along to the Kunj and accomplished her matchless service to the divine pair there. Therefore, it is understood that when it suits certain services to be rendered to the divine pair, the maidservant of Radha becomes very thirsty after Krishna the supreme amorous hero, although she loves Radha more than him. You like it, Jainanda Maharaj? <laughs> very much. It's very sweet. <laughs> very good thing is, you know, good way, good also is saying, you know, wonderful. Beautiful. Because Kinkari, Kinkari felt Radha's you know, thirsty mood. So Radha's mood reflect Manjari's heart. So Manjari so much eager for Krishna. And that eagerness Krishna cannot hide himself. <laughs> like Rasa, you know, Gopi, Gopi looking after Krishna. And Krishna become Narayan. So Gopi, Gopi just pay obeisance and go, go away. But when Srimati Radharani came in front of Narayan, Krishna could not tolerate. Krishna cannot be named <laughs> as Narayan. <laughs> so I, I feel this, this Manjari also, you know, this bus looks like, you know, looks like Bishama Suneha or Sama Suneha, but uh, it is not like that. This very Baba is deep meaning, and Suniti did explain so nicely. We are very happy. <laughs> I was just, uh, I find it so sweet. And also, lately, Gurudev has explained this, you know, very fine tuned differences of the mood that Krishna has, and how, according to the mood that he has in the exchange with all his devotees, he will have a certain form. He will have a certain behavior, you know, because he's always adjusting to the bhavas of his devotees. So here, because he is Paraman Nagara Krishna, he is and he must be the beloved of Srimati Radhika. And I found it very interesting how Baba is uh, helping us to find out these details in the names of Krishna even. Like Gurudev is helping us also to find the details what is the difference between Devaki Nandana, when he is Devaki Nandana, and when he is Nanda Nandana? And he can only be Paramanagara when he is together with our Mahabhavavati, Shimate Radhika. So the purport continues that uh, Krishna must be worshipped in the mood of Raja. And why is Baba always stressing this and all the scriptures? Because then, only then he can be, we can do any service in the mood of the Kinkari. If we see Krishna or feel Krishna as the supreme personality of Godhead, it will be very difficult to come into the deeper feelings. So that's why when we are in Vrindavan, we are blessed to hear from Gurudev, and from all the Rasika Vaishnavas to get all these fine feelings that are in the heart of a kinkari and that make the difference. And that is, we are the servants of Srimati Radhika. We love her more than Mohan. But if she is very eager and thirsty for Mohan, we can serve her in that circumstance and our services will crystallize in different, different leelas and circumstances to make Swamini happy. <coughs> so Krishna, 
just as the eternal Rakatmic associates that live in Braja forget all of Sri Krishna's divine prowess, they forget his uh, Aishwarya bath or his Aishwarya experiences or expressions. And they serve him as Lokika Sat Bandhu, the good worldly friend with parental, fraternal or amorous love. So the Brajvasis, they have these relationships. They see Krishna as their friend, as their uh, lover, or as their son, like Mother Yashoda, Nanda Baba, and some gopis also at the house of uh, Mother Yashoda. He is my son, my friend, or my lover. Similarly, the submissive practitioner also worships Krishna as the good worldly friend in his or her own way. And then Baba is saying, Sri Krishna is a bhava principle and he cannot be captured without bath. The Gaudiya Vaishnava's bath of feelings to Sri Krishna is the Braja bath of Sri Radha's Prana Bandhu, or the heart's friend. That is the feelings that we are getting as Gaudiya Vaishnavas because we are in the mercy footsteps of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who has come to relish the highest form of Mahabhav, the highest form of Raganuga or Rupanuga Bhakti, and that is the feeling to Krishna. He is Sri Radha's Pranabandhu, her heart's friend, her most beloved dear friend and lover. So Baba is giving another one example of uh, Raghunath Das Goswami's Mana Shiksha Stava, where he also says, Oh, mind and is giving us a good hint also how to pray to our mind. Remember, Shri Krishna, the moon of the Braja forest, as the lord of, of the queen of Ra Vrindavan, Radha. Chai Gurdi. We remember. Radhe Radhe Gurdi. My God, so nice shirt, darling. This I is can't. Baba Gurudev. <laughs> you are I'm just repeat. No. I could find a nice uh, commentary by your mercy because you always inspire me to do this kind of research. So to, to make all the Vaishnavas relish the sweetness of our goal, of our aspiration. Yeah. So, Raghunath Das Goswami also writes in his Manashiksha, Remember Sri Krishna, the moon of the Braja forest, as the lord of the queen of Vrindavan, Radha. Remember Radha as Krishna's most beloved girl, Lalita as the bachelor's girlfriend, Vishaka as the teacher of all the girls, or other girlfriends, and Sri Radha Kund and Piriraj Govardhan, as two places where the mere sight of them bestows charming love of Sri Radha and Krishna. So, in giving again our bath, setting the stai bath, and the stai bath is always Krishna is the beloved of our queen. Krishna is our Swamini's. Hero. And we are the servant of Swamini. Wow. And we have such an intimate relationship that she keeps us always by her side because we are very reliable small kinkeries. We have no interest in, in Mohan. Only so far as Swamini requires. Then, as Baba was telling the story, we can become thirsty to find him, to bring him 
to our Swamini. And Gurudev, we were talking this morning, Gaurasundara and me, yeah. that this bhava principle that Krishna is, that cannot be, he cannot be captured without bhava, that is the speciality of our Swamini, because only she can say, you are mine. My God. That, that is the power of her love. All others, they say, I am yours. Right. <laughs> <My God. laughs> and when they say I am yours, then they are in the category more or less of uh, Devaki Nandan. <laughs> Isn't that what you were teaching us these days, Gurudev? You are because only when this energy of Mahabhav is there, you are mine. Shrimati Radhika has this intensity. Then Krishna is overwhelmed and only then he becomes Paramanagara. Wow. Wow. I was so nice sleeping <laughs> and I want to sleep more. <laughs> Your glass is so mad. <laughs> you are so sweet, Gurdi. Dearly, dearly sweet. <laughs> Your <laughs> is explanation so nice. So this um this is what actually the Rasika Vaishnavas are teaching us to come into the the right feeling according to what is our aspired uh, service mood. And as most of us who are listening here, we want to be in the service mood of Shimati Radhika's Kinkari, Dasi, her small saint maidservant, her shadow. It's very important that we also uh, develop these feelings to our Swamini, you are mine. mine. Otherwise, if we don't have these feelings, we may stay, it is possible that we may stay in God consciousness. And this God consciousness will not uplift us to the highest moods of Rindavan and to enter into the sweetness of this special feelings in the service of Srimati Radhika that Gauranga Mahaprabhu came to give, that Radhika herself came to give, because she came as Gorangi, together with Goranga. She wow. covered Krishna and she opened her heart to all her dasis and she gave Rupa Goswami all the secrets to write in this beautiful Rasika writings and their songs and their prayers to, to hint to the beauty of this highest gift of you are mine. <laughs> My God. I will lovingly stay with the Rasika devotees and live in Braj. Here the association with the Rasika devotee means association with a great saint who is dedicated to relishing devotional flavors. Fixed in Sadachar, endowed with the same background and aspirations, affectionate and more advanced than oneself. And with such Rasika devotees, Rohibo Pirita Piritira Rangi, I will live with love. So these feelings that we get when we live together with the Rasika Vaishnavas, the Rasika saints with love, then we get this one-pointedness that is needed to connect in the right way to the most treasured gift that Mahaprabhu came to give, this one-pointedness, this of the 
servants of Shimati Radhika, which is called Bhava Ulasa Rati. Yeah. And then when we listen, because our inner heart and compass has been, you know, fixed in this direction and your feelings, my feelings all have become enlivened with these moods, then we can taste them and we can also in every words relish them. Because sometimes it is not so, it's not so obvious. Because the Rasikas, they, they speak in a Rasik in a hidden way. They are expert in hiding feelings. And they have always some underlying secrets. Like in this verse, it is Paramanagara Krishna that we should become thirsty for. And why we should become thirsty for Krishna? Because in that Leela, when he is Paramanagara and Swamini is waiting for him, we have to do some service. And like also in uh, Shishi Vilapa Kushmanjali, I think you were reading this last last mornings, no? that uh, when Krishna is fainting, and that is the meaning of Kama Gayatri, what is my service and how is the meditation? Shimati Radhika says, I need you. Where are you? I need your very reliable and confidential services. And that is revealed when we have the feeling, you are mine. And that means I will live with love. And then we, we meet also the other Darcy's who have these feelings. And then we can uplift each other in these feelings. Because then we are Sajatya, we have one feeling of our fixed goal in the service of Srimati Radhika. And then being immersed in the marvel, in this, you know, magic of discussing the topics of Sri Sri Radha Mohan's love with each other. The practitioners spend their bhajan time taking shelter of their transcendental abode of Sri Vrindavan which is the most suitable place to remember their pastimes. Being immersed, being absorbed means we listen and we take it in our hearts during the day and the night and we are sharing with each other. How did you feel when you hear this? How was your realization? A new and newer and fresher and fresher realizations will come. And then we are in Vrindavan. We are 100% in Vrindavan. And then we can also quickly, quickly make uh, our consciousness fixed with the mercy of Gurudev, of all the Rasika Vaishnavas, and the mercy of, of Swamini, who was so present in Vrindavan. And then we can take all these moods in our hearts and our consciousness, and then we can become real followers of Chaitanya. This is the best means for a practitioner of the flavors of Braj to nourish his feelings for Braj. Jai Ho! <laughs> Don't do this. You want to make us mad. <laughs> you want to do this. I like in our eyes. Yes. Wow. wow. So nice. We were blind before. Yes. <laughs> when you are happy, then I am happy. 
Yeah, now wow. please, everyone, say something. Who is there? I Can you share my... on this? Uh -huh. Would you like to share anybody on this subject? Translating. Oh, translate. I Love me also, want to say first, love me. <coughs> me? Yeah. She's also very, very elegant. No, no, not so. Can you? But Ramani first said, because after telling the Guru Dev, no sir. No, come and sit in the chair. Go in the front of the camera. Come here. Thank you. Where are they? Um, I have nothing to to be nothing to say about this, but it's just really beautiful, and um. During your speaking, Sneeti is, is speaking, I'm just chanting and um, um, then it's not my meditation though, but um, something uh, you said, uh, the ladder wants you, uh, and you as a servant and um, really, uh, how, can I say, how did you say, close or reliable, something like you said. So it's a really um, for me it's a, like a heart moved so thank you so much awasuniti didi and this so our Sinti Didi described very beautifully this bus, especially how uh, this Braja mood, especially as a as a devotee, as a gopis. Is Devaki Nandana. And uh, Radi for Radhika, uh, Brajendra Nandana. Yesterday we are reading Chaitanya, in Chaitanya Charitamrita. And uh, that's also Rasa dance. Uh, Krishna among the gopi. Uh, he and between the gopi, he was present, he is present. At that time, uh, Krishna's Kabiraj Goswami described Devaki Nandana. Uh, but uh, in front of Radha, he, he became Brajendra Nandana. So Gurudeva's uh, and Sunniti Didi describes very subtle uh, difference. Devaki Nandana and Brajendra uh, Nandana and also described uh, Babo Rasarati. What's the difference? Uh, And feel so happy. And uh, so, this super superficially, we may we may misunderstand this. Uh, we are worshiping Krishna, but actually, this Krishna through in the framework of 
their service to Sri Sri Madhuradara. This is very very nice. Baba and Suniti did describe so nice. I'm much <laughs> nice point. No? The framework of Shrimati Radhika service oh, and sorry. how always to have this framework in my consciousness and how to get the mercy for it and how to be alert and this uh, I think that this is a very sweet point in our practice <laughs> in the Prajabhav. <laughs> and by, by Gurudev's mercy really that happens that's what i can say it's not that i can i for myself i don't have the feelings but by your feelings good if you give this feelings to us and then we can we can develop these feelings in shrimati radhika service in the right mood of bhavala sarati we are so so happy and thankful that you always Nourishing us with this guru. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. You are telling us, and I you give name to me. It is not possible. <laughs> you are giving me. No, 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 guru. Because you, you giving me this intelligence. Somehow you say, give the verses that I can relish, and I am always looking. What is the best that is fitting now? Because when I listen to all our meetings, then I feel always what is the what is the point now? What is the the point is to to feel how Krishna is reciprocating with all the different devotees, and I was so also it was astonishing I mean, to hear so. that uh, when he's dancing with the gopis that he's. The, and like you said, uh, Jainanda, that is uh, uh, Krishna Das Kavadaj Goswami's uh, explanation in Chaitanya Tamrita. So we have to underline it. This is such a uh, important proof <laughs> that uh, there are these differences that are really important to to know and to feel. And then my Gorasunda said this. Yeah, you have to know this. This is all only you are mine. Uh, you are mine. Uh, no, you. Uh, I am yours. I am yours. <laughs> and as long as it is this mood, I am yours, that is not uh, such a high mood for compared to Shrimati Radhika's mood, you are mine. And then only then Krishna will be the Paramanagara. Then he is Radha's Mohan. And that's the Mohan we are serving. What is that? 4,250. Jai Ho! <laughs> this is all some repetitions. But I think repetitions are sometimes good to keep this Blake in Anna. our, in my consciousness. Hello. And you are so lucky there in Rindavan, you can listen to this mood all the time and even though sometimes there's like <laughs> you know, these different other moods but they are all nourished only by this one stai bath good if you're always in stai bath no, yes no. yes no 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 by yourself <laughs> how are you radha das radha charan das what is your feeling Sorry, I was not so fortunate to come from the beginning, but what I heard, it was pleasure for my heart, and I feel how it's nourishing my heart and supporting me. And I'm grateful for this, what you uh, fixed on the go. <laughs> it's, for me, it's very valuable. Thanks so much. Damoda is still there or he left? No, 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 still here. He will be here up to Radhashtam. Oh, wonderful. So I I saw yesterday that Gurudev make you very close friends now. <laughs> very good. It's true. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Very sweet. Very sweet, yes.
המצוות על העץ. Both are so sweet and they are most sweet when they are together. Preparing for your Hashem. Jai Hashem. Yes, Gorasun is not here today. He is uh, traveling, but we are preparing. Everything is going very smooth. And we are very lucky to be with all of you next week, although we are also with you now. We are always, we are now eternally bound. And yes, ah, I want to mention also one thing that Baba is writing that we have heard also often but it's important that this babu lasarati that the manjaris or the the gopis who love uh, radhika more that is a, a new stai bhav of those who have greater love for radhika because before it was not known as as a Stai bhav. It was only revealed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because it was never counted as a stai bhav. It was counted maybe as a sanctuary bhav, as a floating feeling. Oh, I love Radhika more. But now that this Parakya mood has been revealed and the deepest and most confidential chambers of the spiritual world in Vrindavan have been revealed. Srila Rupa Goswami has revealed this as a staibhav of the manjaris, of the dasis of Srimati Radhika. The fixed mood of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas who worship Krishna. My mistress is the queen of Vrindavan, Sri Radha, and I worship Giridhari. Please, this. Again, repeat yes. this. This Babola Sarati is counted as the new separate stai bhav of those who have greater love for Shirada. Shirada Rani is the main shelter of those Gaudiya Vaishnavas who worship Sri Krishna. My mistress is the queen of Vrindavan, Sri Radha, and I worship Giridhari because he is the lord of her life. <laughs> because as I understood it so far, Gurudev, it was never counted as a stai bhav before, because before the Saki bhav, was the stai bhav. But now, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and revealed the highest love possible, the highest Madanakya Mahabhav of Srimati Radhika, which, which is the circumstances where, where she and Mohan, they need help. They need support of the Dasis. Yes. And this is a stai bhav. It's a fixed feeling and a fixed mood of selfless surrender, which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was re revealing in his Shikshastakam also. I think this is only revealed when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is coming, and that is once in the day of Brahma, which is very, very long time, right? Yeah. Sunniti, Sunniti, can I, can I ask a question? In <laughs> in Shikshastaka you mentioned now, so could you a little bit explain this this Babu Rasarata is there or not? I think uh, maybe you all are more expert than me, but uh, I think if we, for myself, in every verse I can feel that uh, that this is the mood that is in which it is spoken, but I have not analyzed it 
so much. But this Trinada piece, Unice na Taro Ravi, Sahishnu na Amanina, Manadina, Kirtaniya, Sadahari. This is the selfless mood of a mantra that uh, to always be most humble, to always tolerate everything. They are always in all the circumstances that are difficult for Swamini. They become so tolerant and so humble just to take all the obstacles out of Swamini's way during the day. They are always hiding and always in the background. They are never like prominent like the bigger sakis. They are always willing to do all the menial service. I can only remember that at one time, Jatila could not sleep in the night, but they had to go on Abhisa. So what happened is that Rati Manjari was staying the whole night with Jatila and massaging her feet so that they could be out in Abhisa. And she did not even think one millisecond. You know, I also want to go. Why are they leaving me behind? No, she was fully surrendered to her menial service of whole night massaging the lotus feet of Jatila so that she can be peaceful and sleep and feel uh, taken care of. And that is the wonderful qualities of the mantras. They intuitively, and they are, you know, they always know in every moment what to do. And they never have any hesitation to do any kind of service which is required so that the, you know, Radha and Mohan can meet and that Srimati Radhika is happy. So that is, for me, the, the meaning of Trinad Api Sunijina. And I'm sure that in every verse, there is this to be found that, uh, and even that Ashlishya Bapadara Tampinash Mam, that is uh, the mood of, of Radharani, but also it is the mood of her Dasis, because the Dasis and Radharani are the, you know, the same feelings. And when Shemati Radhika, as we have heard the other day in Vilapa Kusmanjali, sometimes she is also being a little bit strict to her dasis. But then, you know, the dasis never give up. They never run away. They are just sitting in front of the kunj crying. And then Lalita comes and helping to make up. Always the dasis feel that in, in, in life or in death, as Swamini, you are my one and only. If you embrace me or if you so send me away, if you scold me, I am yours and you are mine. There is no uh, circumstance ever that that will be uh, different. That will be always our mood and our love for each other. I don't know, maybe Gurde, if you want to add something. Wow, beautiful. So <laughs> nice. So nice. What time I do. Wow. I think this is all the matter of feelings, Gurdiv, what you always teach us. What the feelings are, you will feel it in every sentence, in every verse, and you can apply it to everything that happens. That is your mercy, Gurdiv. Really, I can only say that. And all of you Vaishnavas who are also so much in this mood and in encouraging each other to, to go deeper in this mood. Maybe, Jayananda, you were also um, meditating this, uh, reveal something of your secrets. No, 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 no. I just, you know, I'm really cherishing your words, you know. I cannot explain like you, you know, oh, really. <laughs> so I here. <laughs> oh, my God. My Prema Darshan, I want to listen from you. Yes, Prema Darshan. Wow. Gurudev, Radhe Radhe. Radhe. Next time, Gurudev, I must learn English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> But you understand. Yeah, both they are coming. 
Wow. They are coming wow. also, huh? To Vrindavan now. Wow. We come on February with Goranga Sundara. Oh, beautiful. Maybe Gauravani has some uh, some more uh, secrets. Can you hear me, Gauravani? Uh, Gauravani is here. Yes. Please come and camera. I'm sure you have meditated about Shikshasakam and how Kinkaris feel. How is this mood? Honestly, I uh, I just came in and uh, I'm not in the in your flow now, so hard for me to share anything now. So please forgive me. Nice to see you and feel you in Vrindavan. Yes, nice to be here. And it's a very special mood, like always special, but very, oh, very special. Arwani, today, you share speed, speed, German devotee near to Jai Ho, wonderful. Jai Ho. You understand, I'm just a fool and not even the right. Cool. Always, it's but, just uh, so nice to be. You can see and understand how he is a fool. So beautiful. Yes. It's so, so nice. It's all developing very nicely, Gurdiv. And one daughter of that family, so young and so good. So, Rasa. Uh -huh. Rasa, her name is Rasa, right? You see? She is ready. But now, Jayananda Maharaj, you gave me a good homework also. I meditate more on Shikshastakam. <laughs> it's always I, good. I also, I never think, you know, <laughs> but uh, you give me some, yeah, you know, no. insight. <laughs> no. He's my best friend. I thought we are all, yeah, everyone is Yeah. So what did you read this morning? Can you share on this? This morning we could not read because of initiation. Asha, okay. Yes. But this day we are reading Radharasa Sadanidi and sometimes Birapak Mandari. And last time we are Sethis with Gorabani and uh, Radha Charan Prabhu and uh, so so tasty and with good day yes i can imagine that is a very nice combination and also uh our our dear uh maharani is there and i'm always eager to to catch the new uh, secrets gurudev of the newest flows <laughs> So many, so something too many. I cannot remember. <laughs> you are over, over flooded. <laughs> over because of my my limitation, you know. Overflow. You are in. You are living in overflow now. <laughs> wow.
Nami came and now we are just <laughs> it's too much what too much beautification. <laughs> Aqua advanced and actually the reason to advance. This is a lot of so, Nikki J. Yes? You asked to share something what we discussed. Yes, please. I remember one point. Shugurdev asked us, he asked question, what to do if Krishna is losing his consciousness in yes. meeting Radhika? Yes, yes. He become Ananga. What to do? Yes. I told uh, the Manjari can come and whisper in his ears, Radhanam. Yes. Gaurani added something interesting for me. I first time heard this. What did he say? <laughs> he thought, yes, but is the cause of his state Ananga, uh, Moha, then Radhanam not enough. Uh, they means Manjari learning from Shimatradika special things with special no. very sweet move and possible to come him again. He will gain his consciousness. If someone uh, is high position, then can help someone who is lower. But if the uh, Ananda here, but you're trying to help from this position, no possible. What I heard from Goroni, he can add more. But what I remember, I was myself just listening in that moment. I don't know from where it came. I, I mean, I know from where it came. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I did mistake about yeah, person who yeah, told this, yeah. but I, I thought it's you. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, it, it came to the mouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, actually, we know that from the morning over the day till the evening, the rasa is growing and the bee is getting more and more eager. So the eagerness is actually also growing. So if this eagerness is already over that point that you bring him back just to the name then you have to go higher because if they are already in some rasta then you have to to get him from where he was so you cannot you, you cannot just add the names it's not enough the taste has to be more specific yes. to bring him back in this specific situation. So it has to 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 be added in the right mood. And all Lil is going like snake, going up, down from morning time uh, in Shantalil again going to the uh, night time up and down like this. And waves. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so in the end, when, when, when the rasa is really on the highest point, then it goes down again, and the next day, again, it goes up. And of course, it's also during the day, it's not very really straight, it's also in, in waves always. But generally, it's like that, and again, now it's different and fresh. So we were discussing about this actually. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's uh, why you are so lucky when you are together in Rindavan, then all these things can be 
discussed. And when we are here and we know you are all together there, I feel always so thirsty that I want to also know and listen what is your latest um, ecstasies in <laughs> understanding what's you know, deeper, deeper, more meanings of the Kamma Gayatri or of our services. And we are so happy that you are sharing and that you are sitting there with Gurudev. And to see you even once a day is so nice. Just to see you is also so pleasurable for the eyes. I think it's also the eagerness of the devotees who want to hear who is actually giving the inspiration, right? So your eagerness is very much inspiring us, actually. You're always eager to get something new. <laughs> yes, I need always new. <laughs> That's my nature. <laughs> new service. <laughs> <laughs> and you are always the relisher of the new tastes also of service of flavor of services <laughs> so we are all uh, how do you say we are a good combination together right <laughs> we inspire each other and help each other so we are with <laughs> Yes, and now I have so many senior devotees here. I can learn from It's the perfect time and the perfect place. And today I realized one thing, that this verse, it was so pointed, one-pointed. After this one-pointedness, Ness is reached, there's not so much more, you know, it's already in the highest mood. This Bhava Ola Sarati, and then the waves are coming and flowing. But actually, once that is uh, by mercy, we have some connection to that. It's so, <coughs> so it becomes very easy, I feel, in a way. We have all these Sanskrit words, we have these you know, explanations, but in a way, emotionally, it becomes easy, more easy when we have this type bath, this fixed mood. And Gurudev always does like that. <laughs> it's all rich. Yeah, Gurudev showed in the morning some interesting, very uh, picture for us to understand. Yes. Yeah, he was taking a cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, and the bottle, and he, when when he was trying to fill the cup, moved like that. Then the water is going a little bit inside, but most on the side. Out. Mm -hmm. This is when we are not sty. The cup will be not filled. And then he said, "If you're sty, and you fill, then it goes very fast, right?" So it's, it's a wonderful picture, actually, to see. If you're shaking, you will miss a lot. Mm -hmm. Beautiful and so easy. Yes, so easy to <coughs> And also he was actually giving this, this explanation the last days. When somebody comes to Krishna, with his cup, he is the cup and his limited small cup, then Krishna will just fill the cup. But Radharani will say, can you not give a bigger cup? It's not, you are not able to give a bigger cup and fill this. <coughs> So it's also showing a very nice picture of the mercy of Rafa. Because Radharani will bring a very big cup. She will give the cup 
and the mercy. Mercy. She will give the form, new cup, and the mercy. Fill it up completely. Nice. So very nice pictures will they take us from the table. Yes, the form and the unlimited nectar to fill. Wonderful, nice. Thank you for sharing this. 